Hello, and welcome to Geeket Play Studio tutorial. In this tutorial, I want to look on uh, some textures and some possible problems we can have it when we create texture from image and how we can fix it those. And best example, let me show you. So we create terrain. Okay. And now let's go to open and we'll just put a map picture to this and as well we'll replace um, bump map with the images also. So we'll go to edit, let's go right here, okay, and we'll just load it one image. You can load any image um, as a texture, and I loaded the grayscale of this image as a map map. And it doesn't really matter which one you're using because you will have this problem any of them. We'll create right there. It's so maybe bump up, so we'll have a little bit higher resolution. And right now, if we render, you can see where we have a problem. We have it like this squares almost thing. And it's happened on an object if you create it or other things. And sometimes it's hard, kind of cannot find out how to care. What is happening here if we have a bump map and we set to zero? They will be disappearing. So we know this has happened from the bump map. Okay, to fix this, all what you need to do, just let's go back, restore to one. We'll go to edit function. And to the bump map image, all what we need to do are apply each change interpolation type. And we can begin from bilinary, you know, you can already see the different but you still can see some squares a little bit applied so we can apply a little bit more to this so we can go apply to normalize and by cubicle will give it the best result so let's create by cubicle and you can see how it's already texturing better so if we're going down and decrease to close up for this texture here we won't have this problem and texture look nicer a um, couple other tips if you want it. You can also mix this node with a function to achieve even better result. So let's put it combiner, put it um, structural node. Okay, decrease that one. Okay, let's look right here. Custom blending. We just add the function will add a little bit more randoms to our texture to make it look more realistic. And here we go, we have a nice texture with a close up if you want it. And we remove those um, unwanted artifacts from the bump map. Again, all this is to fix. Just remember when you see problem with the textures and you see those squares pop up, be sure you use that interpolation type to um, at least binary, but by cubicle will give you more result, but it will take a little bit actually longer to do, and it will have a little bit more smoothness applied to the texture. Okay, and thank you for watching this short tutorial from Geeket Play Studio. Please come visit us on the web is www.geeketplay.com.